Welcome to T2T Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. Here with me, I'm joined by Carly Mean Hands Meehan, training ahead of his fight with Joseph Parker. Thanks for joining us, Carly. Thank you for having me. Saw you a few weeks ago. Obviously, now uh, much more, uh, much more into camp, and I know you've um, been training very, very hard up here in Wyong. How, um, how's training going so far? Training's going really good. Um, I believe I'm right where I need to be at this point in time. I'm, I'm working hard, you know. It's an old saying: as you get older, you get smarter. Train smarter. That's true, but I'm still trying to keep the sweat, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears happening as well. Yeah, and um, and I know you've been uh, obviously training with your son Willis, who fights on on the same night. And uh, is, is fighting with someone you know of, of his youth and, and his age helping to push you further and further to train, say like you like you used to? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, he knows what I need, so he always tries to push me, and you know, it's more like when we're sparring, for example. I got to step up to it, you know. I can't, um, I can't tell them off. You know, they just got to, just got to handle it, and it's what we do. It's a hurt business. It's a boxing business. You know, so far I can still do it. So, we'll see what happens on the 15th. Hey, soon. And you know, the comparisons I suppose between Willis and Joseph, in terms of the speed and, and the power, are certainly there. And, and, and do you think sparring so many rounds with Willis coming into this fight, someone who's in that, yeah, you know, upward trajectory in their yep. career as well, is, is that helping you to Perfect. be prepared for that? Perfect. I mean. It's hard to get uh, better sparring. You know, Joseph's got very fast hands. He's got good power, which, which Willis has as well. Um, he can, you know, he can impersonate Joseph's style when we spar. Uh, the only thing is a bit bigger and stronger. I feel so. It only benefits me. Yeah. What um, What do you see? I know you obviously would have been studying Joseph Parker. What What do you see is, um, you know, his strengths uh, and and his weaknesses, I guess. Well, his strengths is obviously his speed. You know, he's got good power. He's a young fighter who hasn't learned how to lose, which boxers will know what I mean by that term. When you're on that roll and you know, you, you're you just used to winning, it's hard to beat fighters like that. Yeah. But on the downside, he hasn't faced anyone who's given him something to lose for, you know, giving him something to make him lose, which, which I plan to do. I believe, I believe I've got the experience, I've got the, uh, like, like, like Willis said in his interview, just I've got to be able to put it together on the night. Make sure I've done all the training, tick all the boxes, which I'm doing. You know, God willing, I'll be able to put it all together on the night. And the fans in for a treat. Really yeah, are. yeah, absolutely. I think it's going to be a, a huge, huge night, and yeah, biggest night in Aus in Australia, New Zealand boxing for for a long, long time, particularly in New Zealand. Mm. Um, and do you expect to see a, a big crowd there and a, and a big atmosphere? Oh, I know, I know there'll be a big crowd. It's in my hometown too, so I'm happy about that. You know? It's uh, there's there's. The boxing public in New Zealand is, is a strong, mm. strong boxing public. I mean, the viewers, they really show the interest in boxing, you know, due to what David Tu and Jimmy, Jimmy Piel started years ago, I believe. Yeah. And what Juco have managed to to keep going with the fight for lives. Boxing's on TV often, so yeah. people tune in all the time. Now they've got rising star Joseph Parker, you know, he's, he's on the rise, everyone's excited. And this, I believe, is his first real test. Yeah, definitely. And if you look at the people he's fought so far, yeah, compare the records to yourself, it's a you know, massive, massive step. And are you are you confident of, of dragging him into a fight that he hasn't been in before and, and giving him a, t a test that he hasn't really yeah, seen? Yeah, I really am. Um, all the tests that he's had, a uh, test that he needed to have at the stage of his career, and he's passed them all, flying colours. You know, and now this is a, like a real test. Absolutely. You know? and, and if I can come in there, as I know I will, it will be a test for me. We'll see. Excellent. And do you think as well, with it being in your hometown, he's obviously um, you know, been very well publicised, very well managed up until this stage of his career and very popular. Could this be the first time that he's coming into an arena not as the crowd favourite or at least not overwhelmingly? To be honest, I don't really care. I think it um, doesn't matter where we fight, it's just us two in the ring, you know. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I hope my boxing fans have some money and buy the ticket, but... It's just going to be us in the ring, you know. It's just going to be us, and it is, it is, it is a really viewers. Uh, these are one of those fights people talk about for years to come. Definitely, you know? and um, and you know, whoever wins this fight is obviously going to be set up in you know the New Zealand public eyes, particularly is um, I suppose their shining light and and their conqueror. So if you were to win this, have you got plans as to who you maybe like to fight next? As in, yeah, would it be someone local? Would you like to go back out and, and fight on that international scene? Well, you know, I always say every fight's my last uh, at this level, at, the, at this you know, frame in time for me. Plus, I don't look past any opponent. But, you know, getting past him, I'm still relatively unknown in New Zealand. You know, 
know, except for, you know, I was glad to win the Super 8 and yep. fight Shane Cameron. A few people started thinking, who's this guy, you know? Yeah. You know, but obviously, I won against Joseph Parker. That opens doors to, to, to big big fights, big money fights, you know? So I'd be a fool to look, look past that, but I'd also be a fool to look past Joseph Parker. Definitely. You know? And um, so we obviously interviewed Willis earlier. Uh, I know you two are fighting on the same card for the for the second time. Mm. What, um, what what's it like as as a father to be fighting on the same same card as your son and to be training alongside you know someone that you've watched grow? It's the best. You know, uh, not many fighters get to have that privilege. Um, a lot of fighters don't see their sons become fighters. Yeah. And a lot of fighters don't want their sons to become fighters because of various reasons. Some like myself because of the politics in boxing you know um, I remember trying my first train a lot to really told me how he tried to make his sons not fight he tried to do things to discourage them from fighting yep. but they wouldn't became good boxers really really must really and I sort of done the same to my son too I tried to discourage them you know and like I'd say things like tomorrow you go train you know do this and this and that and then I'd go buy them big ice cream and then I'd, they'd eat the ice cream I said you don't want to be a boxer so he'd still go after ice cream dripping off his face and start training you know and I thought well this boy I can see he, he really loves the yeah. fight game loves it so you know I I look at all the things I've been through I can use that to to steer him in the right way absolutely train and him. He's um, you know, un undefeated so far, definitely one to watch in, in the heavyweight division. We obviously saw him sparring you know, nearly a year ago with the likes of Alex Leopi before I think his first professional fight that was. So, um, And I know he's obviously been sparring with the likes of Lucas Brown as well recently. What have you seen in, what have you seen in those sessions that, that give you sort of positivity moving forwards? Uh, I'm seeing what I already know. You know he's, um, he's, he, he can be one of the stars of the future. He puts his mind down and does the right things. You know, boxing is one of those harsh games, though. It uh, doesn't respect anybody. If you don't respect the sport and do the right things, you end up nowhere. It's one of those games. When he spars Bo, Bo Lucas Brown, uh, Alex Lepay, he holds his own in there easily. He's not. He's not. Um, you can't tell that this is an inexperienced fight. Yeah. Kind of, it's been sparring his older brother since he was a little boy. You know? Yeah. That's it. It's in the blood, isn't it, in this family? Hey, so I know you told you've got a heavy session planned for the rest of the day, so I'll let you guys get to it. Thanks a lot for uh, taking the time out to chat to us, obviously, Carly, and we wish you all the best. Hopefully, catch up again before the fight and um, see how things are going. Toe to toe boxing.